Hey everyone, welcome to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today's video is going to be an updated daily pet routine with my 13 animals. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first thing that I do every single morning is go into the pet room to check on everyone and give breakfast. You can see the bunnies are very ready for their pellets this morning. So I get everyone their pellets. The bunnies get a fourth of a cup each of the Oxbow Garden Select adult rabbit pellets. And then the guinea pigs will get an eighth of a cup per pig of the Oxbow Garden Select adult guinea pig pellets. So you guys are just gonna see me give everyone their breakfast here and check on everyone and make sure they're doing well this morning. So that is all I really do with the pets in the morning. I then do come out into our front room and turn on the light for Snickers Mouse and kind of see if I see her or see signs of her. She normally doesn't really come out a lot anymore. And then I come over and check on the raddies. I don't bother them too much in the morning because they're normally not awake, but I kind of just see where each one is and make sure everything's all right. They have water, that sort of thing. So checked on them. And then the next thing that I do is we feed our dog. My boyfriend actually does pretty much all of the care of our dog. So he fed him this morning and you can see he is just eating outside. He does eat twice a day. So he eats in the morning and the evening. He is at least 13 years old and is blind and deaf, so he is a pretty old man and he is definitely looking it, but he's just eating his breakfast outside, so you guys can see that and it was a nice day, so I thought I would show you guys that. Around five o'clock each day is when everyone gets fed their dinner, so you can see everyone is very ready for dinner is same way they were very ready for breakfast so today all the guinea pigs are getting green leaf lettuce they will get some green bell pepper and then they each get one cherry tomato the bunnies get lettuce and kale some cilantro and then i think they got a little bit of pepper as well but they don't really like it that much so they don't care too much about that and then they also did get some bok choy. So that is kind of our staple diet that we have. And then we do mix in some other things as it's available or seasonal, just to give the pets some variety every so often. So that is what they're eating today. We feed them about five o'clock and then they will just kind of hang out, eat their food, relax, take some naps until probably until seven, 7.30ish in the evening. And that's when I come back to do the rest of the pet chores. So later in the evening, one of the first things that I do is come into our guest room and take care of Arthur fish. This is my beta fish. So 
you're gonna see me do a couple things with him i am trying to treat fin rot with him i've tried a couple different things i think it was being caused by a piece of wood that had been in his tank that i finally took out and deep cleaned his tank but if you have any suggestions or recommendations for treating fin rot definitely leave them down below at this point i'm just probably going to get some marison and treat him with that but this is what I'm feeding him today. I have a couple different foods for him. This is just what he was getting on this particular day. And I just gave him four or five little pellets of it. And you guys can see him eating it. So that is all I do during the day to take care of my betta fish, Arthur. So after I take care of Arthur, I come into the pet room and start on my evening pet chores. This is when I do the majority of the pet care that I do. So the first thing we're gonna do tonight is spot clean all of the cages and get everyone all comfy and ready for the evening. And then we're gonna clean the litter box and make sure everyone has hay and water. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now.
once I have all of the cages spot cleaned, I clean up any messes the bunnies have made and then I clean their litter box. I like to do things in this order where I do all the guinea pig cleaning first and then I do the bunny cleaning so that I then can wash my hands after cleaning the bunny litter box before I do anything with hay or water bottles. So here I'm just cleaning our litter box and then I do refill their hay rack with hay because they were getting low. And then like I said, once I'm done with the litter box and everything with the bunnies, I then wash my hands and make sure that all of the guinea pigs have hay and water for the evening. The next thing I do is come out and take care of the mouse. So I get some food for Snickers mouse. I only feed her pretty much every other day to try to make her eat as much of her mix as possible. She is over two and a half years old and sadly her cage mates passed away. So she will not be getting a friend at this point because of her age. And she is also very fat, which is another reason why I don't feed her every single day. I want her to eat all her mix, not just the good parts that she likes the most. And then once I am done feeding her and usually checking on her as well to make sure she's doing all right, I come over and I feed the rats. So they get a homemade mix that I have made for them and I scatter feed this throughout their cage. So you will see I pretty much just put this all around their cage on the different platforms in different baskets. They prefer it this way because then they have to find their food. So that is what I am doing here. Something else that isn't necessarily part of a routine but I make sure I do every day is that I spend some just quality time with the pets. So sometimes I sit in the bunny's room and just play with them. I sit and talk to the guinea pigs. It's why I like having a chair in their room so much so I can just enjoy their company and enjoy them being happy and healthy. So I just played with the bunnies a little bit and then I also spend some time playing with the rats, especially since we are new to having rats. I'm spending a lot of time with them to try to get them used to us and get them a little more hand tame. So I do spend some time with the pets. And then the last thing that I do as part of my routine is I check on everyone one last time at about 9.30 or 10 o'clock right before I go to bed just to make sure everyone has food, water, hay, are good for the evening and then it is lights out. So that is my entire pet routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.